Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Oxtable, but built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News Room update. Now, first of all, you can probably tell, we've changed our little setup here. I think I like it this way, I like it, because it means you get the, the full background. Uh, so, uh, today we're talking about Dejure Summerland. We have some massive, massive, massive news for 2022. Now, this was originally a 2021 project, but I'm going to speak about all that. Dejure Summerland have put a picture online of a sign that teases the theme of the ride. And also, we're going to be talking about uh, where... You know, in the park it's going to be, uh, and also, of course, you know, the factors in, you know, why this is a 2022 attraction instead of a 2021 attraction. So before we get started, please like the video if you've loved it. Please comment down below. Please subscribe. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. This is to help us get to 2,000 subscribers. Uh, we're getting there every day, so make sure you keep getting your questions in for that subscriber Q&A when we hit that milestone. And for now, guys, let's get into another news update. So... Let's talk about the post that Dejure Summerland puts on their social media. So, the post officially states, A big news is on its way to Dejure Summerland in 2022. Maybe you can guess what awaits. Uh, hashtag, uh, ha well, question mark, hashtag, oh, ha what am I saying hashtag? Camera emoji, winky emoji. Update is coming, but rumours are that it's going to be really big and amazing, dot, 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 and definitely worth the wait, happy face. Psst, dot dot dot. We have sneak Pete ready for you in the park. Hand emoji. Uh, it's those aware. The news comes in 2022 instead of 2021 as several factors caused the project to be moved. And the picture has warning. Dinosaur egg. Extreme care. So this, my friends, is a very, very interesting one. Now, I've been looking all over the forums to see if I can find some, uh, some guesses uh, and see what people are thinking. Uh, now, you know, someone in the forum, uh, in the Coast Force forum, said hopefully a coast with inversion, so maybe a smaller, medium sized blitz like Ice Speed at Mirabellandia. Uh, that's what he would like to see. That is, of course, Crash Coaster, uh, who's on the Coast Force forum, so big shout out to you. Uh, so, obviously, you're probably thinking, whereabouts in the park this is? Now, I'm not too sure exactly where this sign is, it, it wasn't mentioned. However, I believe, now this is linking to uh, a closure, and this is linking to the one and only Dejure Summerland video we've done on the channel, uh, and that is Jungle Safari. Now, Jungle Safari is a family ride. Uh, it took its last trip in 2019 uh, after 27 years of operation, and it was rumoured to be for a new 2021 attraction. Now, obviously, now obviously, um... We now have the news that the 2021 is set to be 2022 because of several factors. Now, I know what people are going to say. I know people are going to say that one of those factors is the pandemic. And you could be right. You may not be right. We don't know at this point. However, I think there's a possibility you could be right if you're guessing this. I think the pandemic could potentially be a factor in moving this to a further year back. Uh, however, that keeps me even more excited because the fact that... Uh, construction seems to be getting ready to start now tells me that this could potentially be either a massive dark ride experience or a massive coaster now I'd love to see a coaster to Joe Summerland so for those of you who need uh, a bit of a uh, not reminder but a bit of a history lesson in uh, to Joe Summerland for those of you who are new to the channel and have no idea what I'm talking about Dejure Summerland is located in Nimtoft, Midtjylland, Denmark. So it's a Danish park. Uh, opened back in 1981. It already has seven roller coasters. The last one opened in 2018. So, you know, by the time... And that's a, you know, that's a family coaster. So if we're talking thrill coasters, then the last one that opened uh, was 2013. Uh, in terms of thrill level, the last extreme coaster was 2008, but I'll get on to that. Uh, so for those of you who need a bit of a reminder on their coaster lineup, uh, in 2017 they had Drage Kongen, which is an intermin suspended family coaster. Uh, in 2018 they had their Sierra Force 2 Jungle Rally. Uh, in 2013 they had Juvelen, uh, which is an intermin manufactured family launch coaster. Uh, in 2008, the extreme coaster in the park, they had Pyroten, which is their Intamin Megalite coaster. Uh, 
they also had Skato Skatoan Skatoan in 2011 or Skaten. I think that's a silent N, uh, a silent O. Sorry, uh, Skatoan opened in 2011, and that is of course a Mac water coaster. Uh, Thor's Hammer, which opened in 2002, is a Gerstler bobsled coaster, and of course Vild Honesjat, which is another Sierra Force 2 uh, that opened in 2015. So looking and uh, looking then at that lineup, uh, and looking at uh, the coasters that they have, um, you know, looking at that coaster lineup, it's very very clear uh, what they've got. They've got an inverted coaster, they've got a Megalite, they've got a water coaster, a bobsled coaster, a couple of family coasters, a family launch, uh, and you know, one thing they haven't got is a launch coaster. So, uh, like, well, obviously not a family launch coaster because they've already got that with Juvelin. But, I'd like to see a Thrill Launch Coaster. Now, I think Crash Coaster from Coaster Force Forum speaks the truth. I'd like to see some kind of Launch Coaster. Maybe at the level of high speed. But, I think the park could go one step further than that. And I think they could actually go massive and go for a Taran style Launch Coaster. And I think that, if this is set to be, and I'm pretty got, I've got a good guess as to where this sign will be. To link it all together and piece the, together the puzzle of this jigsaw. Since this is looking likely to replace Jungle Safari, and that's quite a big sight in itself, I think they can pull off a launch coaster. Now, they may do, they may not do, but actually, I'm going to put the sight of Jungle Safari on your screen now. Fando Bidozi. So right there on your sight, on your screen, is the sight of Jungle Safari. Now, um, obviously I did that video about Jungle Safari and... You know how it's you know left the park after 27 years of operation, so nearly 30 years, which is pretty neat for a for a uh, for an attraction for a good family experience. Um, you know, for those of you who need a little bit of a reminder as to what this uh, was, basically, uh, Jungle Safari was a scenic boat ride through Africa Land, so it was manufactured by Mack Rides. Uh, like I said, 27 years in operation, so, um, you know, opened back in the late 90s, so it was quite a, quite an old experience, definitely an older experience, um, but, um, you know, for, for, for a Mac scenic boat ride, you're going to think the site is absolutely massive, and you're right, you can already see it on your screen, the site is absolutely massive, so... When you take all of that into account, and when you when you look at the the site, and you look at the site, and you think, well, what could they fit in that spot? I think one potential suggestion that they could go with, one potential coaster uh, investment, could be potentially uh, not a BNM. I don't think they're going to go with a BNM. I don't think they'll go with that because um, I think that BNMs are way too expensive. If they go with a BNM, they'll be very surprised. Um, but I think the Intamin launch coaster, I think that will be a, a good solution, a good attraction. Uh, another thing they could go for, they could go for one of those next gen Vacomas. They've been, you know, tossed around the parks recently. Um, so there's a real potential that they could go with that. Um, look at, looking at Gerstlauer, a manufacturer they've already worked with, they could go with a, a Gerstlauer Infinity Coaster. Uh, I know Smile has got its, got its critics, and I know that other coasters have got their critics in the Infinity, you know, category. Uh, but it would be a good coaster, it would be a good thrill coaster for the park. Uh, one thing I don't want them to go with is a free spin by SNS. That's one thing, because that's a waste of land in my opinion, but I don't think that would be the case. I think the land's just way too big to fit just a compact free spin so I don't think they're going to dry out all the land and put in just a regular old you know free spin coaster I think that's way way too small for De Jure's Summerland even a free spin is just too small um, so looking then at the site uh, and looking then at the uh, the land they've got to work with you know, you look at the site and you've got to think, well, hang on a minute. They've got a pretty neat site to work with. Um, you know, on Google Earth and also on your screen now, Fandabidozi, it's already on the park's map. It's already on the park's map for, for 2022. So, you know, they've got a massive site to work with here just behind the uh, the rapids. 
uh, and it's a pretty neat site to work with. And you know, I think that they've got a they've got a decent site uh, here. So I think that uh, what we're looking at here, in my opinion, is either a next gen Vacoma, so Bermuda Blitz, or maybe a Vacoma Hyper, like the one that Energylandia didn't go with, they went with the Intamin one instead for Hyperion. I think that would be a nice one. I think they've got an Intamin Megalite, but maybe they go with the Hyper from Intamin or Vacoma. You never know. Um, I think the most likely prediction, now this is not my final prediction for this, I think this is my first prediction. I think the choice is between a Vacoma Shockwave. I'm thinking that could be a possibility because you look at uh, Abyssus, uh, Energylandia, you look at all the other ones going into China uh, and around the rest of the world. So I think that a Vakoma Shockwave coaster would be a good solution for the park. I think it would be a multi launch. To, you know, the park have a family multi launch, but they don't have a thrilling multi launch with inversions. So I think that would be exactly what the park need. Um, so they could either go with the Vakoma, you know, multi launch like the Shockwave. Or they could go along the Taran route or the Helix route. They could go with an Intamin or a Mac. Now, Intamin or Mac, I kind of like because you look at the success of rides like Helix and Icon, uh, at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, Helix, Helix at Leesburg, uh, Cophead Strike over in the States at Carowinds. Uh, so you look at those and you think those are pretty neat solutions. Now, the Intamin version. So you're looking at Taran, at Fantasyland, of course the new one coming in 2022 to Park Asterix. And you know what? That would actually make the most sense. Or it may not make the most sense. I think it's kind of a 50-50 on that front. Because you look at the Park Asterix one that's coming in 2022. And you think that, well hang on a minute. On the plus side, if they get the same kind of thing. Or a similar type thing. Or a Taran style thing to try and compete with Park Asterix. Then you've got a com competition of the launch coasters, the multi launchers of Intamin for 2022. On the flip side of it, it could be one of the most underrated editions, and maybe people won't recognize it as much because of the Park Asterix one that's already announced. So it could be a strategic but a gamble move. It's either way, it's strategic but it's a gamble if they go with a Taran style multi launch, especially with one of those shuttle elements like the vertical spike at the back and do this whole switch track and the quick switch track element and things like that but i tell you what whatever they go for whether it's an intamin launch a mac launch a b&m wing of a coma hyper i don't care whatever they go with they've got a pretty neat site to work with uh, and i think that uh, although i'd like to see a new dart ride experience manufactured by mac rides maybe you know to fill the void left by uh, jungle safari because that was manufactured by mac rides um, even though I'd like to see a dark ride come to the park in that spot, I think that a coaster, especially with the construction now, I think that a coaster is the most realistic possibility. So I think that even though a dark ride should come to the park in the future, in the next few years, and I may do a five year plan on this park uh, and include this investment, I think that um, a coaster is a more realistic possibility. So I think we should be looking forward to this park. So. Hopefully, when the world's calmed down a bit, I would like to try and get out as best I can to just Summerland in 2022 uh, in Denmark. I mean, compared to other countries around the world, Denmark's not the hardest one to travel to. So, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, I want to try and get out there to just Summerland, try and get some new credits, and obviously, hopefully try and get out there for the opening day of this new coaster or whatever's coming in 2022, if it is a new coaster or not. So, um, yeah, I think to just Summerland is a dream trip for 2022, personally. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that, but I think for now we'll just get, get excited about the teasing process, the marketing process, uh, the rumour process and the rumour mill, um, and we'll see what comes out of it really. So uh, it should be interesting to see when the park announced this, whether it's going to be this year or next year, because it isn't a crime to announce it this year, two years in advance, because obviously you know that other projects have announced a couple of years in advance fully, so you know it's not a crime. Uh, but it is quite rare nowadays. It's usually the year before they announce it, uh, before they uh, open it. Uh, so it should be very interesting. But thank you very much, guys, for watching this theme park news update from the Joe Summerland. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep on the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Goodbye.